Hello and welcome to this one. So first of all, we'll talk about the business client business and then we'll talk about the project scope and then the challenges and the solution. So the first client is like they are a startup company and they have a RO plan, which is reverse osmosis. Hope you are aware of that, which actually treat the water, the wastage water and to be converted into clean water so that we can reuse for the plantations. As you can see it on the image here, the water if we waste here and then they can recycle those waste waters and then they can reuse for the plantation. So that's actually the business of that. And the motto is save water, save the nation. Right. So what is actually the business requirement is everything they are controlled by the IoT sensors. So basically the plant, what they have, the RO plant, they have a multiple motors so that they can start and stop. Uh, whenever the water level comes up or comes down so they need to get an alert for that so they have iot sensor for each and every sequence and they want to monitor the tank capacity and the water running status on that so they have already set up these things and the project duration was like almost two months which i worked on and basically what they have done here is the data structure i will tell you that so they get the data from the iot devices into azure stream analytics and then they moved this to Azure SQL server. So they have already made up all this process. And then we want to do two steps here. One is do the reporting in Power BI and then we can use the PowerShell script, PowerShell script so that we can send an SMS alert for the workers and the managers in that area. So basically our scope of work is start from the SQL server because the IoT devices to stream analytics and from stream to Azure SQL, they have already set up the process. So we have not given that opportunity to work on that. So the main target for us to access the SQL server and the build a Power BI report where we can give the signals of that. And in the Power BI report also, we have set up a background image where we have set up the entire canvas as a kind of the real plant itself. So we have taken an image from there and then we have laid out the background as an image for that entire plant and the KPA what we have developed we just place it exactly the location where the motors or tanks are available so that you can just highlight with the conditional formatting it gives an alert about the green or red signal so that they are aware of whether this is actually running or it's on stop stage so it's a wonderful thing right and also not only that whenever as this is a kind of real-time data so whenever they get an alert uh, kind of thing, they have a threshold limit for that. So they have defined that threshold limit. And I have written a PowerShell script which connect to this SQL server. And then if there is any kind of threshold available, it just triggers an SMS. So basically I created a view so that it can just give me the triggered, uh, the threshold value, which is cross above or below to the threshold value. And then I have just setting up this PowerShell script on the Windows task scheduler. It runs every five minutes so that it can just check the data from the SQL server. And if there is any kind of issues available on that, then it just send an SMS to all those people so that they can get an SMS alert and then they can just go and turn it off or turn it on whatever the required thing they need to do in the plant. That's how cool, right? So this is actually things what we had done here. So now in Power BI, when it comes to Power BI, build a Power BI report in direct query mode and page setup is set to every one minute, which shows that multiple signals green or red as in KPIs, if the water motor is turned it on or on. So that's what I explained that. And we use the RO plant actual layout as the vector image and place it on the card of the top of this one so that the users can get clarity about the information. And with the help of PowerShell script, which runs every one minute in Windows Task Scheduler, if there is any issues on the data received from the IoT sensor, it will trigger an SMS alert to the staff so that they can rectify the issues. And what are the challenges which we have faced during this project is basically PowerShell script was new to me during that time. And SMS alert is an entirely new thing because it has to send an SMS through this PowerShell script, right? So there are two parts here. So one is reading information from SQL server table. We created a view and filtered the required data. And the next thing is setting an SMS. So we have get an um, API from the SMS provider and then we have passed that message 
the mobile number we have set up on the database and then we call those mobile numbers from the SQL server and then just pass the information we are getting from the view. So that's what we did through the API and the API sent an SMS to all those peoples. I checked our internet for the solution and also contacted SMS providers to give the sample script. We finally implemented that. So the way how we have implemented that is because of communicating between the, our community and as well as to the SMS provider. And this is a customer requirement and we have completed successfully this project within two months of period.